I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short, fixing the translation of Romans 3, 23 and 24. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. Who doesn't love that mission? The gifts? Making known them to young, young people? And if young people are getting content, then we old people are getting content too. Give today. The problem, the problem is Romans 3, 23 and 24. It starts in 22, but that's not really the problem. Usually we memorize this as all of sin and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. That's the way we sort of, and that's fine, except there is no and. They're not two different thoughts, and the same people are used in both. And so how do we fix this? And so that we not lose the gift. Because it's not that all are saved and come to the knowledge or fall short of the glory of God, and some are justified freely by his grace. It's that all are saved. Uh, all are uh, all sin, excuse me, all sin and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace. So there isn't there isn't a, a difference in these people. The all goes for both. Um, the King James has it really well. Take a look at that. Um, all sinned and have come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. That's better because it captures what's going on here. So let's take a look at what's going on here and then... See what it means. For all have missed the mark and fallen short of the glory of God, being justified as a gift by His grace through the redeeming, the redemption of Christ, which is in Christ Jesus. So this is a small, different, just a small thing, but it's a very important thing. All have sinned and all have been died for. All have sinned and all are justified. And if you go to yourself and you go, how can that be? Then, then, then salvation would be free for everyone. Well, it's as a gift. And gift is used twice there in order to make it clear that it's a gift. Freely, as a gift, by His grace. Grace is gift. So it's as a gift and it's by grace. Both of those are synonymous. But the reason why this isn't universalism is that everything is located in the redemption, which is in Christ Jesus. So everything hinges on Jesus. What we bring to the table is sin. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And they're justified by grace as a gift. And how does that happen? Not because God just goes, I'm going to save everybody. No, he saves everybody through the redemption, which is in Christ Jesus. Reject this Jesus, you reject the justification, you reject the forgiveness, you reject life, and you're still in your sins. But those who believe on his name, he gives the right to become children of God. Children born not of human decision or will, but born of God. Here, the very important thing I want you to, to, to get, and the reason why we're, we're taking specific look at this, because we take Thursdays and look at the text that we're going through in Bible study, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and are justified as a gift freely by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. So in Jesus' death and resurrection, you and I are justified, forgiven before God. But that does us no good unless it's apprehended by faith. And that's whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood to be received by faith. So faith grasps hold of the promise of the gospel, and we sinners are saved. But I don't want you to continue on reading this like there are two different types of people. The sinners that fall short and those who are justified. 
The sinners that fall short are the ones who are justified freely as a gift through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. So if you're a sinner like me, if you don't stand up before God on your own, like the rest of us can't stand up before God on their own, then you are one who is justified freely as a gift before you even know that it happened, before you even believed that's true. Now that you've heard it, believe it for Jesus' sake because it, it, it's double gift by grace as a gift through the redemption, which is in Christ Jesus. And this was God setting forth as a sacrifice by his blood to be received by faith. All sinned, all are justified. That's the point. You're justified. You're forgiven in Jesus. Believe it for Jesus' sake. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.